Hey, in today's video I want to show you at first a project or an artist called Sunset on Mars. And Michael wrote me on SoundCloud um, a few days ago and asked me if I can show some of his creations in my daily videos. And he even sent me a patch, as you can see on the right side, um, which he used to uh, create one of his tracks. And um, that's why I came up with this idea of, um, of um, yeah, you guys sending me some um, creations you made inside Bitwig Studio or grid patches I can showcase in my daily videos. And as you can see, Sunset on Mars, uh, Michael is creating ambient, uh, ambient tracks and you can go to soundcloud.com slash sunset on Mars and can listen to all of his tracks. And he said he is creating most of his tracks inside Bitwig Studio with no additional VSTs. Some, yes, some samples maybe, but most of the stuff is basically created in Bitwig only. And because he sent me also this patch here, as you can see on the right side, uh, we can see how he creates um, his sounds. And I find it really interesting to look at how other artists are creating uh, tracks and how other artists uh, work. And I think also that's why most of the videos I do in which I um, start and making a song and create uh, a song um, are so uh, popular on my channel. In fact, every time I do such a video, um, people are basically rushing in on the video and looking at it and uh, commenting that they like it very much. So I think it's very interesting for all of uh, the artists to look actually how other artists work and create music to get other and uh, new insights in the creation uh, pro process. Soundcloud.com uh, Sunset on Mars. I put the link in the description and listen to the ambient sounds of Michael. So back to business, um, Bitwig Studio 3.0 Beta 3 is uh, out and you can see in this change log here we have a lot of uh, improvements and fixes and uh, for instance here the phase one module oscillator uh, there's a feedback control added. So a whole lot of new stuff uh, to try out. So go to bitwig.com and when you have a running plan you can download the beta and have fun. And yeah, don't forget to deliver feedback to the devs so they can fix stuff in time. Um, the next topic is um, about a preset for the grid and it's called Mutated Butterfly Preset. And Christios Music delivered me this preset to showcase this in my video. And this is how it looks. This is the preset and even wrote the text in there and this grid preset uses impulse responses of recursive filters to create sound. By pressing a note you will send one single sample into the filter bank. By their recursiveness they will create harmonies at the resonance frequencies of the filters. Try it multiple times. It creates different results every time. Also try changing the timings to get interesting results in pitch. And this is how it sounds. Now I already tried some parameters here. I don't know, it's just, um, it reminds me of Jurassic Park in some kind of way. It's very mysterious and... Yeah, pretty interesting device and if you want to play around with this preset you can because it's also in my 
um, <coughs> GitHub repository because he created a pull request. So when you go to my Polarity Music Tools, you go to Bitwig 3.0, you have uh, presets, and then he created a community folder here, and um, there are his presets for uh, to showcase in my videos. So um, yeah, go there, download this preset, try it out, and thanks for Christias for delivering me this preset for the showcase. The next entry is by Nbyte or Nico from Germany, and he created uh, some kind of uh, glitch generator, and it looks like this. And to make use of this, um, I created two tracks here with a drum and bass loop, and it sounds like this. So just some 80s stuff. And then you activate the script, uh, the script preset, and the script preset creates some artifacts. So it's a funny way to create some um, sounds in between the drums, right? And to probably make more sense of this, you um, have to bounce down some bits. So go in here on the track of the glitch preset and hit bounce. And then you have a sample you can work with, right? Something like this. So um, it's a great way to, cre the, to create random uh, artifacts between the drums, bounce it down, and then use it to um, arrange some interesting um, glitch beats. So this is Glitch Generator 2. It's also available in my GitHub repository. And if you want, you can uh, go to soundcloud.com and byte fx and to listen to sounds of uh, Nico. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about this format, me showcasing some of the presets or uh, projects or releases of the community members. And uh, tell me if you want to see more of this stuff or is, um, maybe it's if it's too boring or uh, not good enough. So um, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.